Hey guys, what's up? My name's Kayla from Planning with Kay, and welcome back to another video. I hope everybody out there is staying healthy and safe during this crazy time we're going through. I know that things are so stressful and so up in the air right now as people's lives are being completely turned upside down all over the world. I know that a lot of people are isolating and self-quarantining and social distancing right now. And all of that in mind, I hope that today's video can give you guys a few moments of calm, maybe a little entertainment, a little relaxation during all of the craziness right now. Because today I'm going to be finally setting up all of my new spreads in my brand new bullet journal. That's right, the day is here. I finally finished my seventh bullet journal earlier this month. And I've officially moved over and started setting up spreads in my Archer and Olive journal that I have here. But I have yet to set up my main core spreads in this journal, like my future log and things like that. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing here today. For this entire migration setup today, I'm going to be doing a springtime inspired theme because as I sit here filming this, it is actually March 19th, the day before the start of spring. Granted, we can't all really be outside as much as we want to right now to enjoy it, but we absolutely can celebrate the start of spring in our bullet journals. So to execute this spring theme, I'm gonna be combining my hummingbird, my cherry blossom, and my plants and pages monthly sticker collections for all of the decoration for these spreads. And I'm gonna be offering all three of these kits in a very special 30% discounted bundle in my shop. This is one of the biggest sales that I'll be doing all year for these stickers. And alongside that, I'm also gonna be having a functional bullet journal migration bundle as well. That's also gonna be 30% off and include all of the functional stickers that I'm using throughout this setup. And again, this is one of my biggest sales of the year, so be sure to check out those bundles at planningwithk.com. And of course, I'll also have everything listed in the description down below. All right, guys, so with all of that being said, let's just dive right in, bust out my new bullet journal, and start setting up my migration spreads. A new bullet journal, I can't believe the time is finally here. I feel like it's been ages since I've posted a migration video for you guys and these are definitely some of my favorite spreads to set up without fail. So as usual I'm going to start off my new bullet journal with a version of a future log. I'm calling this my important date spread here and I'm going to be using my plants and pages theme for this spread and then I'm going to be switching the theme for every spread throughout this setup. So you'll see that coming later on. I'm going to be alternating through those springtime themes. So my future log here is going to have a spot for the next six months, April, May, June, July, August, and September. And this is just going to be a spot to keep track of any key dates and events that will be coming up for the next six months. So I'm using my small 2020 calendars here that are already dated and make setting this up super, super easy. Next to that, putting in some banners from the Plants and Pages monthly kit. And right on top of that, some monthly headers that are part of this brand new sheet that I just listed and created specifically for this video. It's a entire sheet of bullet journal migration headers. So it has all sorts of useful headers for migrating into a new journal. And I'm gonna be using this same sheet of headers throughout this entire setup. It was really useful, really came in handy for setting up all these spreads. So now for my future log here, I'm gonna have a very simple color code, which will just make it a little bit easier to differentiate between some of my more common important dates. I used my mild liners to create a color for birthdays, business, and holidays. After that, this spread is basically completely done. I'm just gonna finish it off with some extra plants and pages decorations, drawing in some little shelves that are just a simple rectangle colored in with a gray Crayola super tip marker, and then laying in some decoration to fill those shelves. And that is it for this very simple, important dates future log spread.
All right, moving right along to the next spread in my migration setup here, I'm going to be creating a spread with a wish list and a gift ideas page. So this is basically going to be a spot for me to write down any purchases that I'm thinking of making for myself in the future, both personal and business purchases. And then I'm also going to have a spot to keep track of gift ideas for all of the most important people in my life. So that way, once birthdays and holidays roll around, I'll already have an idea of some things that I can buy for those special people in my life. So I'm using that same Grayola super tip marker, which I'll be busting out for the rest of this setup as well, along with my Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip brush pen to create my personal and business headers here. And then I just used these checkbox list stickers that come with the freebie sheet that I give out with every single order from my shop very useful as well. Next to that, I'm getting started on that gift ideas page. I'm really keeping this whole setup very simple. I just wanted to focus on using those springtime stickers for a bit of decoration, but then keeping the functional components pretty simple and bare bones. So I'm just creating a section for each person in my life, and that is it for this spread. And I'm now moving on to my goals and affirmations spread. I love to do a goal spread at the start of every single bullet journal. It's just a great reason to take a little extra time to sit down and think about what I want to achieve throughout the time that it takes me to finish this bullet journal. So I'm creating, again, a very simple goals and affirmation spread here. Switching over to my third spring theme with this hummingbird theme. I'm absolutely obsessed with these colorful springtime themes. Two of these I made last year and one of them this year. And I just love how the decoration is coming together for all of these migration spreads. All the headers here are also from that Bujo migration headers sheet that I was mentioning. And I just created four different sections for my goals, work, health, personal, and creative. And at a later time, I'll take the time to sit down and fill this out with all of my goals. Next up, I'm gonna be creating my monthly review spread. Again, this is something that I like to do at the start of every single bullet journal I have, although I do mix up kind of the format of this. In previous journals, I usually have where for each month, I have different sort of prompt questions or different categories to fill out that kind of summarize that month for me. This time, I'm going a bit more free form here and I'm just creating a section for the next seven months and just leaving a blank box for me to write down a sort of summary of that month or just a spot for me to reflect on what happened that month. For some months, I might not fill this out until the month is completely over. For other months, I might sort of jot down reflections and memories in this section as the month goes on. But either way, I think this is going to be a really nice single spread summary of, you know, the next however many months I end up using this journal. And I'm excited to fill this out as I make my way through this new bullet journal this year. All right, so we are busting our way through this migration setup and I'm now setting up a couple spreads for some long-term trackers. So this is something very different, something I've never done before as a part of my journals. If you guys follow along with my monthly plan with me's, you probably know that I usually include all of my habit tracking in my monthly spreads. So I'm usually tracking certain things that I wanna do every day or every week on a monthly basis, but I wanted to take some of my key habits and create these more long-term yearly trackers. So that way I can sort of see how I'm doing with these habits month to month instead of only seeing everything in a single monthly view. So the four habits that I'm gonna be tracking in these long-term trackers is watering my plants, I'm gonna have a tracker for keeping track of my period and my birth control. I'm also gonna have a tracker for shipping orders out on time. And finally, I'm gonna have a social media tracker. Like I said, I'm using four of these yearly tracker stickers, which are included in that Bujo Migration 30% off bundle. And I'm also creating a color code for a couple of these. So for my period and birth control tracker, I'm using the color code stickers there to keep track of how to signify when I take my birth control, when I have my period, and when I'm having some period symptoms. 
and I'm just finishing this spread off with some cherry blossom decoration. I really love that I'm using three different sort of sticker themes throughout this whole setup, but they all come together with that spring motif. So it makes it really fun kind of setting up all these spreads. And I think it's also gonna encourage me to look back on these spreads more often. That's why the decoration part for me, even though to some people, putting so many stickers and so much decoration in my journal might seem a little unnecessary and frivolous. That kind of aesthetic piece for me is what really calls me back to my journal. I'm a very sort of visually interested person. That's how my brain works. So having things looking nice and pretty and with themes that really kind of speak to me helps me actually to use my journal more. So just like that, I'm almost done with these trackers. I'm just finishing this off with a bit more cherry blossom decoration, and I'm excited to see how these trackers work out for me throughout this journal. After that, I'm creating another fairly simple spread. This one is for ideas and collections. This is very similar to my monthly brain dumps where I like to have a space in my journal to keep track of any fleeting ideas or thoughts. And I decided I wanted to have something similar for my entire journal. So this spread here is a spot for me to keep track of any ideas I have related to new bullet journal spreads new YouTube videos, new sticker themes, and then a section for other in case I have any other ideas that don't pertain to those other three categories. After finishing this spread off with some extra hummingbird decorations, that is it and I'm moving on to the next one. All right, so this is my second to last spread of this setup. We're almost there. On the left here, I'm creating a page called Things to Check Out. I went on my Instagram before filming this setup and asked about different spreads that you all love to set up when you're setting up a new bullet journal. And this was something that a lot of you really enjoy is having a spot to write down different shows or books or movies or places that you've been meaning to check out. So I'm using my plants and pages kit here to set this page up and I'm creating my headers here by taking these teacup weekly headers from the kit and combining that with some of the headers here on my new bullet journal header sheet. So I'm just sticking those over the top of the weeklies and that worked really well. I really love how this page turned out. And now right next to that, I'm gonna be creating a page to keep track of my bills that are due every single month. I usually include this on my monthly finance tracker spread, but I decided that it would be probably more useful for me to have just one page in the beginning of my journal that shows all of my bills that are due throughout the month. So I'm using a number strip sticker from that freebie sheet I mentioned and this is just going to be a list of all of my bills. Luckily for me, my bills don't really change much month to month. It's pretty much set in stone and the same every single month. So I think this will be a lot more sensical and make a lot more sense for me. So I'm not having to copy over my list of bills every single month and I just have one page that I can glance to to see when my different bills are due. All right guys, here it is, my very last spread as a part of my new bullet journal migration. And this is one I'm extra excited about. This is going to be a grid spacing spread, which is basically a tool that helps when dividing a spread or page into a certain number of rows and columns. If you create weekly spreads and dailies as much as I do, you probably are used to counting dots all the time and figuring out how many dots each row has to be or each column has to be to split the page into five or four or seven or however many different spaces you need. So this spread makes that all totally easy. On the left side, we have measurements for columns, so it shows how many spaces each column has to be to split the spread into thirds, quarters, fifths, sixths, sevenths, eighths, and ninths. And then on the right side, we have the spacing for rows, again, to split the page into uh, three rows, four rows, five rows, six rows, seven rows, all the way up to eight. I sometimes find that grid spacing spreads can be a bit confusing, so I really tried to lay this one out in a way that made the most sense. Um, so I'm coloring in what would be, you know, the height or the width of a row or column. 
and I feel like this is going to be very useful for me. I'm not going to have to be messing around with my ruler nearly as much. And just like that guys, I am completely done setting up my brand new bullet journal. It's always the best feeling for me to have all of my migration spreads set up and knowing that my new bullet journal is ready to go. And I'm just so happy with how all of these spreads turned out and I'm very excited to start filling them out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me set these spreads up today and that it gave you 15 minutes of entertainment or distraction from everything that's going on in the world right now. I hope you guys are staying indoors and staying safe. And if you liked any of the stickers that I used during this video and wanted to give them a try yourselves, don't forget that you can order them all from my shop. I also have those very special discounted 30% off bundles right now, one with all of the spring themes that I used today and one with all of the functional stickers. So be sure to check those out. That's one of the biggest sales I'm gonna have on these stickers all year round. So you definitely don't wanna miss out. All right guys, and with that, that is it for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give me a like and let me know in the comments down below which spread was your favorite today. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already at Planning with K. And don't forget that all of the links to my social medias, my Patreon, my sticker shop is listed down below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.